Saints Row the Third, uh, where you're talking about challenges. Okay, in the first video, we kind of went over some of those challenges that get in the beginning part of the game. Okay, with this character, I am at the end of the game, and we're going to look at the challenges that open up on the second part of the game. Okay, starting from the bottom. Okay, earlier I mentioned that there was 50 brutes, and somebody commented that that's what they had, but as you can see here, it just says 30. And again, if you're picking fights and stuff, although it doesn't register, it probably will when it pops. The uh, later part of the game, uh, getting 30 brute kills is not really going to be a problem for you. Okay, the little Emos car, a friend of mine, obviously I'm just destroying him as I see him around the town, but I did what he did the last time he played, and that's put one in your inventory. Uh, just put it in your inventory, save it, and pull it out, blow it up, save it. Or, you know, just pull it out, blow it up, go back, get another one, blow it up, and just continue on. Okay, obviously, we, we got the survivals done and the gang ops and all that. Um, this challenge unlocks later in the game. But basically, as you're running around the city, if you got a mental note, just compliment people. And uh, that should be completed once it finally opens. But, yeah, I've been doing that. Uh, I see people outside, just throw them a thumbs up and that kind of thing. I already talked about the stoppies, but the, the stag commando kills, never, you know, you do see them from time to time, but when you shoot down their helicopters, you always get two or three kills in there. Uh, so what I did, I didn't really get any uh, video of that, but uh, we just went out to their aircraft carrier or whatever that big ship is and uh, just landed out there. Uh, usually by that time of the game, we might have infinite rockets or ammo or whatever, and we just shot those uh, I think they're called the condors maybe but don't hold me to that but you shoot down their version of the helicopter and you'll get those commando kills otherwise it's just hit and miss when they come out but uh, the easiest way is just to shoot those uh, helicopter hovering uh, aircraft down and then you'll get your commando kills that's how I got mine okay and uh, when I was doing the assassinations uh, I would just do some hand-to-hand -hand or just going out and just beating up some uh, Gang members, you know, hand-to-hand. -hand. You know, it's only 25, so it's not a big challenge to get those done. And we already talked about the base jumping. Multi-kills, like I said, just, you know, you're picking fights and just getting those down. You know, uh, vehicle mods, you know, those don't really need to say much there. And we already went over the, the car torpedo, but uh, just you got cars with nitrous, head them towards some parked cars and just jump out with the nitrous going and it uh, won't take long to get that challenge done. Okay, the Morningstar Specialist, the Luchadors, the Deckers. I mean, what do you need to say? Go out into those areas and start some gang fights and, uh, you know, the Luchadors are the guys with the grenade launchers and then the Deckers are the ones with the, the girls that kind of get towed behind the cars. They got that shock hammer. And then the Morning Star are the guys in the helicopters. So, I mean, I already got those many kills already, even though those challenges aren't open yet. Okay, I already went over the power slides, uh, wheelies. Let's see, uh, windshield cans, kind of went over that again. The gang taunts, uh, just get it done. Uh, like I said, I personally am a fan of just like, Outside a store, you see a gang or a couple gang members taunt them, run in, run back out. And then, because I was around the city a lot, doing different uh, things, I would just, you know, get my gang taunts in there. Streaking, I mean, how much needs to be said? Just head to a store or your crib, lose your clothes, and head out. It doesn't all have to be done at one time. So after you get your 600 minutes or seconds, uh, you know, that's easy peasy. And I already went over the, the store robbing, so... And like I mentioned with the hostages, just uh, that. Now, the shortcuts, I've actually got some comments that, uh, you know, people have trouble finding them. But uh, we went ahead and did uh, some videos. And we got, a, you know, a full set of 50 shortcuts up. And uh, this way, so at least you can look and see that they're all bookmarked and uh, easy to find. So, you know, that should help you out a lot. Um, you know, Hoods Explored, Mascot Kills, I told you, because we were in and out of Professor Yankee's challenge a lot. Got them or anytime you see them on the streets, and then the tanks. 
in the bolts went over in the first video and grenade kills and that's it nut shots so um, that should basically cover all the challenges and again this is just one man's way of doing it I'm just a big fan of like doing a lot of that leg work in the beginning but um, the only other thing with the achievement is there's an achievement in there for doing um, a certain amount of kills with the sex toy. It's a big uh, sex toy on a stick. And then using the fart in a jar on some enemies. Uh, most of these are just related to the, um, the activities. Just complete them to unlock them. And then when you finally get all the the activities in the stars bought you'll take over a, an area obviously doing the assassinations completing all the challenges um, we did a full set of videos on the, all the collectibles made that real easy uh, if you're having any trouble collecting anything obviously if you don't have the collector upgrade then just check out those videos and that'll help you out and a lot of these are all, um, you know, pick a decision at the end of a mission. Um, as you saw, the, the challenge was for 30 brutes on the challenge, but they have an achievement in here for killing 50. But again, if you're picking fights, getting your multi-kills and that kind of thing, uh, getting helicopters and brutes and all that is not going to be a problem. Uh, you know, playing as a female, just, uh, if you want to use your own character, just head to the plastic surgeon and change your sex and, uh, you know, just play for a few hours and then, uh, not just start a fresh game with a female character and, you know, get your time in. You know, when you, uh, I think it's the power plant, you get that, you just buy it, upgrade it, and uh, make that achievement unlocked. This one here is the one I was talking about. Uh, you would use the sex toy on a stick and then the fart in a jar and then uh, to get this achievement. And a lot of people wouldn't really know that, but hopefully that helps you out. You know, upgrading your weapons, obviously, it's going to be like a big thing. And then, uh, you know, over the challenges, as I was mentioning, you want to compliment 50 people and you also want to taunt 50. So if you're doing that, you're going to get this achievement. Obviously, killing a thousand gang members is not going to be a problem. And, you know, 50 Bo Dukums, you know, so that's just pimping out 10 rides. You know, it just goes without saying. Uh, you know, you use your testicular uh, option, like clicking the right stick, and you know that'll give you this achievement. And that's uh, the collectibles. Like I said, if you're having any trouble with those, I got a full set of videos on that, and uh, that's basically the beginning part of the game. So. Hopefully some of this information helps you out. Like again, uh, I had some comments about the shortcuts. I mean, if you want to put the time in to look for them, you'll definitely find them. But uh, if you just want to find them real quick, check out those videos. And uh, any of the other collectibles or jumps and Bardstorm, I got you know all the videos on that. So, double A gamer for life. I hope some of this information helps you.